hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's still safe and well today we're doing a morning and nighttime skincare routine i know i filmed a skincare routine not that long ago but i just feel like over lockdown i've really invested into my skincare and like tried loads of new products and developed on it and just got like a nice skincare routine rather than just kind of like a brief one so i'm going to talk you through what i've learned to save you a little bit of time kind of like researching especially because like i use a few quite a few of the ordinary products and i know they can be a little bit baffling knowing what to use disclaimer though i'm not a skincare expert in any means like just because it works for my skin doesn't always mean it'll work for yours so still do a bit of your own research but these are just things that i use and i recommend please like and subscribe get me to 200 subscribers my last video that i uploaded i pre-filmed so i didn't get to say thank you um for the video I uploaded the week before when i was saying please subscribe get me to 150 and i went above and beyond that and so now i want to get to 200 so please thank you let's get started so all what i've already done is wash my face um i just do that in the shower in the mornings the face wash that i use i spoke about before is the soap and glory face soap and clarity vitamin c facial wash i use this because i always have and i have a load of like a lot of bottles of well i say a lot i've got bottles of it so i'm not going to just throw it away um it's good i because i've used it for so long it's one of them things that i'm just like does it do the job i don't know so i don't know how much i would say like go and get this i just kind of use it because it's what i've got um and it, it does work for me but you know it's, it's kind of one of them things so i have already done that because i thought well i'm in my bedroom my bathroom's over there there's no point doing that on camera once i've washed my face my skin's kind of left looking dull a bit lifeless it does look a little bit shiny on camera now but i think it's just the lights so the first thing that i use is the ordinary vitamin c suspension serum no not the serum Vitamin C suspension with HA spheres. So it's 23% vitamin C. This is the silicone free one. I like it, but I've not used a silicone one. So I don't know how good that is, whether that would be better. So I take this and I only take a little bit of this. I don't use too much. So I only take like a little bit like that um, and rub it in my fingers and just kind of put it all in my skin. I was really surprised when this like arrived at the feeling of it because what i didn't realize was like vitamin c is like a powder form so it's like been put in this cream or whatever but it's like it's still really powdery and the reason i use vitamin c is because my aim for my skin was it for it to be more hydrated brighter even all things like that and that's exactly what vitamin c does obviously everyone knows vitamin c is good for you so it brightens your skin it reduces redness and under eye circles and it just helps everything kind of look smoother which is in my opinion everyone's aim with this it does kind of make your skin it doesn't do it to me anymore really but it does make your skin like tingly and you shouldn't use it on broken skin because it just will irritate it then next i take my hyaluronic acid again by the ordinary everyone raves about this it's just if you've got dry skin if you've not got dry skin if you've got any skin just buy it because it's just so so hydrating i use it morning and night just it's just nice it just helps with the hydration of your skin and i think hyaluronic acid is something that sounds really scary and like you need to be really careful with it but it's actually really really soft and gentle on the skin it's not anywhere near as scary as it sounds the way it works is it like can't, uh, i'm gonna sound like an idiot explaining it because i'm not i'm no scientist but it basically like takes the moisture like from around your face or under the air it takes moisture and like puts it into your skin so that's how it kind of like moisten moist moisten moistens moistens it does that to it what i have read from like with this is you should you make your skin a little bit damp or your things a little bit damp because otherwise it will do the opposite and it will make your skin dry i've seen that a few times but what i found when researching skincare is one thing one website will say one thing and then another website will say literally the complete opposite so you kind of just have to roll with it really so like in the morning i don't use any acids she says that's not true I don't use any a a h a acids because I use vitamin C and I read that you shouldn't use them together. But then on one website I read that it's fine to use them together. So it's just all a little bit confusing. You just kind of have to make your own mind up. But I'm just gonna make my fingers a little bit damp to use this. So like I say, yeah, I make my skin and hands a tiny bit damp and then just pop that on. 
Um, one thing I will say that I'm ignoring, and so don't copy me, is you shouldn't put the pipette from this onto your skin because it's just gonna put bacteria into the bottle and then you're gonna put it back on your skin. So don't do that. I'm just lazy. So sometimes I just do it anyway, but don't copy me on that. So now I've I did this, my skin just feels nice. And this is kind of like a sticky consistency almost, like not so much on your skin, like only a little bit, but when you like get it out, I didn't realize like how thick and sticky it would be. Oh, by the way, Please ignore my nails. I've not had a chance to sort them. I'm really sorry. So next is I take an eye cream. I actually use like an eye serum. Um, and again, another ordinary product. As you can see, I really like them. I did want to try the Inky List eye cream once it's still gone though. Um, that's meant to be really good. So if you don't want to use the ordinary, then try the Inky List one. Um, I'll link everything down below as usual. And this is like a, like, can you see? It's like a yellowy serum. I, I don't know why the lid has gone like that. So I just pop this under my eye, but again, just put it on your finger, a few drops, because you shouldn't really be touching your skin with those. So be really gentle putting this on your skin. If you're pulling your skin around your eyes, you're gonna create premature wrinkles. I feel like I talk about wrinkles a lot. I mean, I make it out like I'm not, it's like a huge concern for me, and it's not, but obviously, if there's things I can do to avoid having them early, like, obviously I'm gonna do that. So I just pop that on, and I really like this. It's really nice. It's just soaked into the skin really nicely. It's a caffeine eye serum, so it kind of reduces puffiness and dark circles. And then moving on to the final steps. I find morning skincare a lot more boring than evening skincare. I think evening is more exciting and fun for me to put on my skin. I don't know, does anyone else feel like that? So next is just moisturizer, trusty, easy one. I do have a drunk elephant moisturizer that I really, really like. However, it's um, only a mini one and so I don't like to use it too much because your girl can't afford a 50 pound moisturizer. So, so rub this all over the skin. What I should say as well is you should take things down your neck because as Khloe Kardashian once said, you can tell your age by your hands and your neck. So look after the neck, ladies. I do forget, we're not perfect, you know what I mean? I know I spoke about the Neutrogena SPF moisturizer in my recent favorites video, and that wasn't a lie. It, I absolutely love it, but I've recently bought a different SPF that I wanted to try because Jamie Genevieve always uses it. And so I use a different moisturizer because this is an SPF and not an SPF moisturizer. I did actually buy the wrong one. She uses like a shimmery one with a tint and I just bought the plain one because this is the one she tagged in the bottom, but it doesn't matter. So this is the La Roche-Posay SPF Invisible Fluid. I just really like this, although it's not like the glowy one that she uses. I think this is really nice. It is really runny, but just shake it and pop it on your skin. Like I said before, even if you're not using acids, but especially when you're using acids, which I do in my nighttime routine, which you'll see next, um, you need to use SPF. It's important. So I just, I've just got that on my um, dress. Beaut yeah, I just put it straight onto my skin because it's really runny. So if I put it in like on my hands, it just kind of like runs in between my fingers and it's annoying. Is anyone else other than me impressed with this button? When I had long hair, I used to wear my hair in a bun, like not all the time, but like on holiday all the time. And like occasionally like on a night out I would as well. And so that was one thing when I was having my hair cut short that I was like, oh, shall I, shan't I like, I like to wear my hair in a bun, I won't be able to. I can, and it literally looks the same thanks to back combing. I have to use a lot of hair gel though because none of my hair at the back can fit. Like literally any hair that's like from like maybe like here, she doesn't, don't get up there. The final part of my morning skincare routine is then look after your lips, ladies, some lip balm. This is the By Terry Balm de Rose, which in the like, you can get this in like a pot form or this form. I've not used the pot form, but I really like this form because it's just easy. This is quite expensive. I think this one is cheaper than the um, pot, probably because it's smaller, but it is like 30 pounds for a lip balm, which is really expensive. I wouldn't pay that like normally. But I got this for my birthday in a set with the drunk elephant thing. My cousin bought it all for me. And I was, I'm very appreciative because it's all really, really nice stuff. 
However, I don't like to use it too much. Like, I use that all the time. But I'm going to be really upset when it's all gone because I'm not going to want to have to buy it again. So this is the morning skincare complete. As you can see, this side of my face is disgusting. I'm just sorry about that. It's nice and fresh and glowy and I feel super confident to just have no makeup on, um, go out for the day or obviously then now I would put my makeup on. And if I want extra moisture, if I'm feeling like dry or like I'm not enough, I'll take a spray, a uh, hydrating spray. I this use this one or the Queen of Hungary just spray, I don't know what it's called. So like... I wouldn't normally spray it straight on now. I would do this throughout the day. So I think these are great, especially the Queen of Hungry one because it's a smaller bottle because you can chuck that in your bag like on a no makeup day. And anytime sorry, you're feeling a bit like you need a bit of like a bit of help, spritz and you're glowy, you're good to go again. So yeah, this is my morning routine and then I'll be back later tonight with my evening so i am back i am in a different clothes because it's five to eleven it's pretty late um but doing my evening routine now so if i'd normally have makeup on then i've recently bought this by la roche pose is that how you say it don't i is that a french word i feel like this is a french brand I don't know. Oh yeah, made in France. This is a makeup remover milk. All you do with this is pop it on a cotton pad and wipe it all around your face. However, I don't do that. I just put it on my hands and do it and the makeup literally just like all melts. It's lovely. So I've already washed my face just because it's easier to do that beforehand. And I use the, again, Soap and Glory, the Peaches and Clean 4-in-1 Wash Off Deep Cleansing Milk. It's all right. I probably wouldn't buy it again. It does the job, but it's not like, wow. You know what I mean? And I'd like to try what find one that does. It does feel like, wow. I don't use the vitamin C one because I use AHA, AHAs at night time. And I read that you shouldn't mix the two. Then I tone. I use the La Cura Healthy Glow Gly Glycolic. Oh, had this problem last time I was trying to say it. It's just a toner. 5% exfoliating toner. 5% Gly, whatever the word. It's on my little thing I use from Primark, but you can like get them on Amazon. So I just rub that all over my face, like so. Now this is a gentle exfoliator, but you should exfoliate um, once a week with like a proper exfoliator. And I prefer a chemical exfoliant rather than a physical exfoliant. So what I use, which you've definitely seen floating around the internet by now, is the Ordinary Peeling Solution. Now this, I don't have a bad thing to say about this. The hype is completely genuine. It's really good. It's really cheap. It's just a really, really good product. Just pop it all over your face. I'm not going to do it tonight because I've already done it this week. So you just pop it all over your face, leave it on for no more than 10 minutes, and then you just wash it off with lukewarm water. And it just, I don't know. It's really, really good. Resurfaces your skin, like makes it all like, ex well, exfoliates it, makes it really nice and glowy. Like I just really, really like that. I then take a um, lactic acid. Now, using these together, um, I didn't read that you like specifically shouldn't, but they kind of both do the same thing. So there's not like a need for them to use them together. However, they're both a pretty low percentage. So I do use them both together just because... I've got them both. I don't know what, like, you don't really need to. But this is the lactic acid 5% plus um, HA, a mild lactic acid superficial peeling formulation. So it's just like a super gentle version of this. So this is like for every day. Like I say, you don't need these together. I just have them, so I use them. But you can get this in 10%. I guess next time I would either use like, I don't know the percentage of glycolic acid toners so i don't know if that's like whether you get higher i don't know don't come for me in the comments again try and remember to go down the neck i put that on with my hands but you could probably just put it on one of these and like wipe it all over again but whatever floats your boat next again like before i use the um hyaluronic acid and as you can see like i said about this being sticky look can you, can you see that it is really sticky and again don't copy me with putting this on your like touching your skin don't do that the hyaluronic acid like i said before although it's 
sounds scary it's really gentle so that's why you use it twice a day just to let your skin thank you because it's hyaluronic acid something that the body already produces i believe so it's not like as scary as it as it sounds and then it literally absorbs straight into the skin it's so nice and then next all my products are the ordinary mostly I, I really like them again with an eye cream to avoid those wrinkles same one i used this morning the caffeine solution five percent by you guessed it the ordinary you'd think this video had something to do with them with the amount that used all their products but i just really like them and they're just inexpensive like it's just easy and because it's all one brand that i like it's just easy because obviously you can get it all in one place like you just order it all so it's just super easy isn't it as before i'm just going to moisturize as if i've not got enough moisture in my skin yet but for this for my skin type which is slightly dry Oh, I can, I'll use all the moisture I can get. I always go on about how my skin's really dry, and it is, but it's not. Like, it's not dry because I don't let it be dry because I use all these products, but, like, it is dry. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't feel dry, and you wouldn't look at me and say, oh, you've got dry skin, but it's because I use so many hydrating products. Like, if I didn't, it'd be dry. Does that make sense? And then the final thing I use is what I mentioned in my favourites video. It's my favourite step to the skincare is my good old plant-derived squalane. Put this all over the face and rub it in. Ugh, this just feels so nice. I literally love using mirrors. It feels absolutely unreal. Like, when you're like rubbing this in, it feels kind of like you're having like a mass, not a massage, a facial. Like, you just go to bed and it'll soak in overnight and then you wake up and your skin feels amazing the um squalane well, i don't know why i'm being so like rough on my skin i'll stop doing that it is really hydrating for your skin as oils are it makes your skin nice and glowy as you can probably tell the aim for me is glowy i think it's because my skin is drier this is the by terry bomb de bomb bomb de rose again so we've come to the end of today's video as you can see i really recommend the ordinary products i'm apologize for not uploading on sunday however i had my last deadline on monday and i just didn't have time but now i'm completely done uni i'm considering uploading twice a week i definitely obviously have the time but it's just about like like video ideas and things like that. I don't want to kind of like run out of steam by doing things twice a week and then get to a point where I'm like, I don't know what to film. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that. This week, however, I am uploading twice a week because this upload is to replace Sunday and then I'll still upload on Sunday as I normally would. I'm excited for Sunday's video. I'm trying a makeup brand, a very cheap makeup brand. So that's exciting. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on Sunday. I hope you're all safe and well as always and staying alert as the new message is, what that means. See ya!